much. Uh, my name is Jamie Silvestri. I'm the executive director and founder of ArcMan, which is a mobile art therapy organization. And Kelly, Jaylin, a lot of the times, and I bring art to our neighborhoods in Bath, Brunswick, Biddeford, Lewiston, Auburn, Maine. And we do that all year round. So we are unfortunately, because, um, and I miss all of you, directly bringing the art to you. So we're doing it virtually. Um, we've delivered art bags, art bags in April, art bags in May, and we will be doing one in June. And yeah, and then our YouTube channel, so you can follow along. And I know you miss seeing me, and you didn't yeah, see my new hairstyle, new my new look. <laughs> and um, it's really because um, we're sisters. And um, it just happens that, yeah, mine went really white and gray. It's my age, I think. <laughs> Don't we look good? We look identical. <laughs> yeah, and I love how like shiny yours is, Jalen. I'm. What's your secret? What do you do? Um. I don't know. Make lots of art. Doing yeah. lots of art makes your hair shiny, and extra beautiful. Yeah, I should, should do that. I should be doing more. I've been on my computer too much lately. Okay, so we'll move on. Um, Introducing ourselves, so I said my name is Jamie, and the theme of the project is Dream On! Exclamation point! Yay! Woo! And your name again? My name is Jalen, and I'd like to dream of having hair as curly as Jamie. Oh, <laughs> geez, can we have the same dream? Because my name is Jamie, and I dream of having hair like yours. Forever! And be in our lives together forever because I really respect our friendship. Yeah. All right. So we are going to pass this on to Kelly, who's going to do an art demo along with you, Jaylin. Jaylin's not going anywhere. Oh, the bag. Some of the materials we'll be using today has some paper, a list of projects, a contact information. Please connect with us on our YouTube channel, subscribe, and our Facebook page. So, and then you could follow along on these projects or not. Um, we are following along on four of them for you. So if you watch us every Friday or during the week, you can catch up on those. Um, and so we've got some cool sticks in here. I'm gonna dump it off and you can use all of these or some of these. We are gonna be using some with each project. So we can demonstrate all those to you. So a beautiful paintbrush with a little lid, some embroidery thread, some colorful wire and cool little wooden round shapes that you can play with. Water is comes on your own. Oh, and our markers. Whoop. Okay, so Kelly's gonna rock us on. All right. You're on, girlfriend. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so this week we're doing Dream Eater. Woo. So I think um, Jalen and I discussed that we should probably make the little Dream Eater first. So if you have bad dreams, it's this little creature that you can make that'll eat all your bad dreams. Mm -hmm. So you won't have any more mm -hmm. bad dreams. What do you think? Ready to go? Mm -hmm. Alright. So for this project, we're going to use these little wooden wheels, um, the wire pieces, markers, and a little brush. And I'm going to show you what that does in a minute. And we have, I just cut up some paper, you know, just ripped it. Um, I'm going to use that in a minute. So, I'm going to start out with my markers and I'm going to color on my wooden pieces. And think about the colors that might be important for a dream eater to eat, a bad dream eater. You don't want your good dreams to be eaten up and disappear, just the bad ones. So that you can be left holding on to your beautiful good dreams. And I'm going to color the other side orange. Ooh. Ooh, that's kind of fun. So the tip doesn't go all the way down in there and it kind of coats. You see that? It coats the inside and outside and leaves the center. That's kind of fun. And then always make sure to cap your markers, and you'll hear a little click. Here. I don't know if you could hear 
Where did that come? Good. Because you want to keep them dry. They'll last a really long time that way. Um, <clears throat> and then, what I think I'm going to do is take my paper and I'm going to rip it. And you can see that I had already started drawing on this earlier. And maybe I'm gonna do these. Ooh, so it goes all the way into his belly. I'm thinking maybe these are his intestines and travel route for all those bad dreams. And then what's really fun is I'm gonna take my paintbrush and there's a little plastic cover on it. I just wanna take that off. And because they're brand new, there's some kind of like little glue or sizing on there, so they're kind of stiff. What you want to do is get yourself a little container of water. Jalen found this little container, and you want to just wet your brush and move it around a little bit and get that glue off of there. It just kind of makes the bristles stiff at first. You don't want that on there, it's just when they're making it. There, so now see the difference? It's nice and pliable, nice and soft. And then I'm gonna take that and then go over my marker and look at, it kinda looks like watercolor. You can go in. Wow, that's cool. I didn't know I could do that with markers, Kelly. Yeah, the watercolor marker, not the watercolor, the washable markers you can. Nice. Even the, the big ones that you got in the first art bags mm -hmm. will do the same. And then you see the water, well oh, it's a yellow, but yeah. uh, you want to rinse your brush because it does pick up the ink from the, um, markers. the markers, yeah. And then I can go back and maybe add, but I want to try and stay away from where the water is until it dries. Does it ruin the marker? Um, well, Wait. see, see what happened? I oh, did get yeah. in and it just it kind of dulls it. Yeah. So yeah, you'd want to wait. Okay. And then I just went along the outside of where I put the water. And I'll go back in and then you can blend after that. Cool. Yeah. So I continue doing that, but I won't, won't color everything right now. Because right, um, you could take hours or I could, absolutely. So now I'm going to take my wire and start building my little guy, my little eater. Um, and so these wires, you can twist them, kind of connect them like that, see? And then maybe I'll add another one, and then twist it. Oh. I'm trying to figure. Ooh, these look like eyeballs. <laughs> Let's see them on you, Kelly. Kelly's what do you think? Eyeballs. Oh yeah. Oh, better to see you like with. A dream eater. I know. I'm so excited. So, and I can go and like just color all my little wooden pieces. Um, let's see. I'm gonna actually take the wire and go underneath. Yeah. And then you have like another one. So you notice there's different sizes too. Yeah, a little. I love the colors. I love all these colors. They're great. And so you can tie, you can twist. That was just like a shoelace tie. Um, <clears throat> let's see, I want to make sure that I make a mouth. I'm going to do one on the other side. Kelly, we're going to peek at Jaylin while oh, you're right. doing that. Oh, right, absolutely. We'll come back to your mouth. Whoa, Jaylin, you're rocking it. I'm just adding eyes to it. I'm oh. going to position a bit. So I Did you get inspired by Kelly? Or are you just going for it? I'm just going for it, but... We do have a little bit of a similar technique. Right, reminds me to like. You certainly do. <laughs> and then now I'm just kind of positioning it, the wires, so they're more spread out and it kind of looks more like a, a fuller body for the creature. Cool. Oh, so Jalen and I were kind of going over this earlier too. And she came up with this great um, idea on how to actually make holes in the paper. So I'm gonna take the end of my brush and I'm gonna see I'm supporting it with my fingers on the back side and I'm gonna stick this right through my fingers. 
There we go. Between your fingers. Between. Yeah, not through. Go through <laughs> them. Between them. And then you have a hole. Oh my gosh, that's Isn't that awesome. cool? That's Jalen. She's so clever. She mm -hmm. is. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I think this is going to be my tongue. <laughs> ah, my little dreamy little tongue. So you can taste the dream first and then chop it. That's right. So they weren't the inside of my dreamer. No, it dream doesn't look like it. No, it's, it's going to be my outside. It looks like it. Need a couple of dreams, too. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so I can work with this more. I've got more wire. Perfect. But <clears throat> for time's sake, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take just a piece of paper and rip it. And these little pieces, I'm going to write my bad dreams on there. So, cool. so I'm going to take my marker. And actually, last night I had a horrible dream that a hawk came and ate all my chickens. A hawk? A hawk. Wow. Yep. It was actually a bunch of hawks were circling my barn. So, hawks eating, eating chickens. Ah. That was a horrible dream. I actually woke up. Yeah. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to num, 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 num. <laughs> eat my bad dream. Woo! And then I can go like this. <sighs> no more hawks eating my chicken. <laughs> wow. I wonder because we forgot to mention, Kelly, like the seed paper, you could put some of that bad trees on the seed paper Ooh. and plant it to be kind of composted. Like how. Oh, go back to the earth. Go back to the earth and get repurposed into something mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like buy that. it. I like that idea. That's kind of like a nice idea. So, yeah, your paper, yeah. that extra little piece in there, right, has. Yeah. Um, so seeds in it. Yeah, just as a reminder, you right back. You're doing. Yep, we're gonna check out Jalen anyway. So, gotta catch up. What'd you do, Jalen? I didn't. Jaylen? Um, I didn't uh, put any bad dreams on it, but I like to pretend like I could kind of play with it. Like I could just take. I guess I could pretend like that the creature is taking this, like or bad dreams, and then like um, he's just kind of taking it and like. Kind of, uh, I can pretend that the creature is taking the bad dreams um, like oh, that's with, the, great. with the tentacle and then he just kind of oh. sucks it up into his body. <laughs> <laughs> I love the sound effects. <laughs> These are the creature's eyes and a bunch of tentacles. And I guess I would say that the mouth would be somewhere up here. Yeah, so you could still be working on that, right? Yeah, still cool. work in progress. So Kelly, you just grabbed some seed paper oh, yeah. you're gonna quickly show so us. So as a reminder, that's also in your bags. Um, you can see the seeds in the paper. It's just two pieces of really thin tissue paper with seeds embedded in it. Um, and last week we showed you how to um, write maybe some good intentions that you wanna plant. This was my example from last week. Mm -hmm. um, but maybe you, instead of doing that, you could put your bad dreams, write your bad dreams on here, plant them so that they actually get absorbed into the soil and then come back out as something positive and beautiful. Wonderful. Yeah. Thanks, you guys. You guys rocked it. No as problem. always. High five around the circle. Bam. Woohoo. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next week. All Call right. us, YouTube Bye. channel, YouTube our channel. fan program. Yep, our band program, YouTube and Facebook. Yay. Ciao.